Hello everyone, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. This time we're going to be previewing the away match in the Premier League against Everton. Before we crack on with this video though, make sure like always, if you're interested, make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell, put your push notifications on. Aiming for 5,000 subscribers, we're less than 90 away. So any help to us, that would be much appreciated. Thank you everyone for the continued support over the last couple of months and couple of years. It is much appreciated by me. You can go check out my social media links if you so wish in description below and popping up on screen for my Twitter and Instagram if you want to go and follow me on there. Keep up to date with everything happening with football news, Manchester City news and also JSGC news then you can. And make sure if you enjoy the video you leave a thumbs up of course. And most importantly, let me know your thoughts in the comments below your team and score prediction. So we're going to crack on with this video and we're going to be speaking first about our opposition's Everton. Who have not won in the Premier League since coming back from the international break. They've had a 3-1 away loss against Bournemouth followed by a very disappointing 2-0 home loss against Sheffield United in their last Premier League game but they did win their last game in midweek in the Carabao Cup against Sheffield Wednesday which I'm sure Sheffield United fans have loved beating Everton then their Sheffield Wednesday losing to uh, Everton uh, they won 2-0 away from home at Hillsborough uh, so a bit of positivity to uh, well start the week for Everton fans who are currently in the Premier League sitting in 14th on 7 points just wondering for Everton we might be seeing Calvert-Lewin lead the line did score a brace on Tuesday against Sheffield Wednesday I imagine we're probably Probably going to be seeing Rick Carlson, the signing that they brought in from Watford. We're going to see Fabian Delph playing against Manchester City. Will it be Seamus Coleman or will it be Sadibi they brought in from Monaco? We know all about him, of course, from a few seasons ago in the Champions League. Uh, will it be Digne? Is that how you say his name? Uh, probably starting, you would think so. Will Mina be starting? Again, you'd probably think so. Sigurdsson, Keane, will he start? Will go Calvert Lewin? Be very interesting. They've got some good players. I will be Walcott, uh, Tosin as well. These are good players. They're a decent side, Everton. A tricky away game to uh, and they'll be motivated to know they've not got off to the greatest of starts they want to rectify that and get a big scalp like Manchester City but we all know about Everton we all know about Liverpool Liverpool will speak about them very briefly they're playing before us away against Sheffield United difficult game for them of course Liverpool though have the chance to go eight points clear we're gonna have to presume that they're gonna win these games uh, and they're gonna go eight points clear which is an ideal at this stage of the season but there we go City of course sitting in second Liverpool sitting in first we're back to the last game we had this all last season and didn't we really battle in uh, for months and months it's tiring it's tiring again but there we go it's just how it is at this moment in time uh, Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp leading the way uh, and uh, Liverpool will be looking to firmly put the pressure on Manchester City so uh, ideally Liverpool dropping some points this weekend will be a huge boost going into this game and Liverpool playing beforehand they do have the chance to go eight points however difficult game if they do drop but points City could use that for extra motivation a difficult match at Bramall Lane Sheffield United like Everton will be looking for a big scalp in a sellout game go to starting the weekend off like that as well it's a difficult game we saw what Norwich could do I'm hoping teams like Sheffield United potentially Everton probably too will use matches like Norwich um, against Manchester City where Norwich beat us as motivation and hope that they can make things happen but a like Norwich showed a lot of passion, hard work and determination and that is what these teams need to do, not just lumping the ball forward and hoping for the best. I'm hoping we can have a favour from Sheffield United. Um, but for Everton, I'm not sure they're going to take it easy this time. They'd take it easy ish uh, last season not wanting Liverpool to win the league it's too early to start thinking about titles Everton need points they'll want points so they're not going to say here's three points Manchester City please go and catch Liverpool that's not how it works uh, maybe if this was uh, March or April time they might be thinking like that but not at this moment in time they definitely won't be thinking like that and Everton will be thinking about trying to uh, win this game and pick up points from this game so City do have to play to the best of their ability if we are to win this is not a gimme at all uh, although Everton might be struggling like I said they'll use the confidence from the Carabao Cup it's, it's going to be a difficult game for City we do need to turn up here uh, and we're a bit iffy at Goodison Park um, it's something that we have improved on I feel over the last couple of seasons but it's going to be a difficult game it'll be interesting uh, for Manchester City team news we know that former Everton man John Stones won't be playing he's injured a hey, Merrick Laporte injured too of course Lee Rosane abs absentee as well won't be seeing him but I'm wondering on the bench will Harwood Bellis or Eric Garcia make it onto the bench with a little crisis going on at centre-back it is possible 
possible. I suspect we'll go with Nicolas Otamendi and um, Fernandinho, but still, it is possible. Might see one of them two players on the bench. That's very interesting. Will um, Benjamin Mendy be, play, um, be starting in this game? Of course, came on and made a cameo appearance in the Carabao Cup. Slowly started to ease his way back into the Manchester City squad. I think we might see him start in this game. Uh, for wings, what we're going to go with? Mahrez, we'll go with Sterling, Bernardo, you know, pick any of the two, really. Uh, Jesus started midweek, so I'm expecting to see Kun Aguero lead the line. So I'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you. I've gone for Edison in goal, Kyle Walker at right back. Cancelo did start in the Carabao Cup, but I'm going for Kyle Walker, Fernandinho, Otamendi, Benjamin Mendy, Rodri sitting in front of the defence, De Bruyne, David Silva, Bernardo Silva, Sergio Aguero and Raheem Sterling uh, being Manchester City's leading front three. Uh, we might see Mares too, obviously Mares didn't start in the last game, so uh, we will go with Bernardo Silva and Sterling when they started the last game. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, most of the players that don't start in this game will probably be starting in the Champions League in midweek, so yeah, favourite players aren't starting for this game, they probably will be starting for the next. Score prediction, difficult. I've gone for 3-1 Manchester City. Uh, let me know, like I said, your team and score prediction in the comments below. But remember, 5.30pm British summertime kickoff Saturday, September 28th. Goodison Park in Liverpool. Everton away. Difficult game. I think it's live on Sky Sports. It's definitely live. I think it's Sky Sports that's got the 5.30 slot, so if you can't get there, that will be this, um, the match that it will be on. I think it's on Sky Sports, not BT Sport. Uh, but uh, hopefully it will be a good game. City can get back to winning ways away from home in the Premier League. That would be good. Uh, obviously, confidence is high beating Preston midweek. 3-0 away from home and winning our last Premier League game, of course. 8-0 and winning the Champions League too. We've got a little bit of momentum to go on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can pick up the three points and move on to the next game. So there we go. That's been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new around here press that red button press the bell put your push notifications on to be notified immediately when i do upload and also don't forget to check out my social media links twitter and instagram in the description below and popping up on screen and i'll see you all again for the video which will probably be up on sunday morning for the analysis of this game so it's been jsgc hope we'll have a wonderful rest of your day don't worry i'll sort the background out very soon peace ciao for now